Okay, in these videos, I going to uh, I going to teach about the the sum of infinities. Okay, this is the same thing. The geometric progression for the f max from five first chapter. Okay, so in these videos, I going to say about uh, the sum of infinity. Okay, because actually in last video I teach about our the term the tn will equal to a r n minus one and then I also teach for s n. So in, in this video I was I I going to to teach about the sum of infinity. Okay, sum of infinity only happens in the geometric progression, which is the formula is a over one minus r. Okay, you got few conditions in order to use sum of infinity. In most of the example, in most of the past year question, actually the question will straight away tell you to find the sum of infinity. Then it's very simple. You 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 will know actually you just apply this formula into it, then you can get the answer. Of course, R R for sum of infinity for sum of infinities must be always smaller than one. Okay, and then but then sum of infinity this formula happen in paper two, paper two sometimes he will not hints you which which you have to use this formula. So you have to know you have uh, you you need to use this formula. Of course, in the next video I going to I going to teach you how to how to differentiate whether you need to use this formula or other formula okay actually it's it's not really teach actually it's very simple when you can't solve using other formula then you have to use sum of infinity to solve it okay this one i'm going to explain on next video so in this video is it's going to be a very short video so first sum of infinity uh, the formula is a over 1 minus r a is the first term r is the common ratio okay this is very simple okay so okay so let's throw in one example okay in this example the, in this example he say given that that 1 x square x power 4 x power 6 and dot 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 is a geometric progression and it sums to infinity is 3 okay means what this one sum of infinity is equal to 3 okay you must understand sum to infinity is 3 means sum to infinity is equal to 3 okay first a he asks you find a common ratio in terms of x so common ratio r you can always use the second term divide by first term of third term divide by the second term is you will got the same answer so let's say I use third term divided by the second term. So after simplify, I will got x square. Okay, so x square is the r. You get you out x square divided by one, you got x square also. Okay, so the common ratio is x square. So a I have done, and then b because it's in terms of x, so you can do like this. Okay, so b is it asks you to find the positive values of x. Mean maybe your x actually you got positive and negative value. So he asks you to find about the positive value. So you're going to use this information you got over here. So we know sum of infinity will equal to three. Then I just apply the formula in sum of infinity is what a over one minus r is sum of formula for sum of infinity will equal to 3 okay then I got a a is the first term given over here a is from here a I know is 1 so 1 divided by 1 minus r is what r is x square x square will equal to 3 okay then then this is something like simultaneous so 1 over 3 will equal to 1 minus x square so I move the whole thing up and then move the 3 to bottom or you can say multiple 1 minus x square for both sides and then divide 3 for both sides. Then you got this one. So I move the x square to this side. x square will equal to, I move the 1 over 3 to this side. So 1 minus 1 over 3. Then I will got x square will equal to, x square will equal to 2 over 3. Then x will equal to square root positive negative 2 over 3. Okay, so therefore, we only take the positive value, so x will equal to square root 2 over 3. Okay, that's all for, for this question. I think it's pretty simple for, for most of the students. 
Okay, so yeah, I think this one you can easily understand about what is this. Okay, so if you want more accurate, you just press the calculator, you will got 0 0.8165. Okay, just press the calculator. Okay, and then yes. Okay, because in this video, I only will exp uh, only will share about the paper one. Okay, paper two, I'm going to share on the next video. Okay, so we see something a little bit harder. Okay, okay, for this question, okay, the third term of the ge geometric progression is 16. So I just write down third term means T3, uh, okay, is 16. Okay, and then, okay, sum of the third term and the fourth term is 8. Means what? T3 plus T4 will equal to 8. Because it says sum of the third term and the fourth term is 8. You must understand means this one. Okay, so first, A, he asks you find the first term means he asks you to find the A. And and the common ratio means he asks you to find the R of the progression. Okay, so obviously in order to find A and R, you have to do something like simultaneous in this because you got two information. Okay, but then T3 and T, T4, we can't solve it directly, so we have to substitute the formula into it. Okay, so we what we know is formula is for Tn is equal to ARn minus 1. So, okay, so T3 will be, become A R N is 3. 3 minus 1, 2 will equal to 16. Okay? Yeah, I just substitute this one. Huh? So, will equal to 16. So, A will e equal to 16 divided by R square. I got the first equation. Okay? And then for this one, I same, same thing. I just substitute in. So, this one is A R square for T3 plus t4 is a r n minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 will equal to will equal to 8 then i just do so i just substitute 1 into 2 very simple so i substitute in i will got 16 over r square multiple r square plus 16 over r square Multiple r cube will equal to 8. So I simplify r square, r square, r square, and r cube. So yes, so I will got 16 plus 16 r will equal to 8. Okay, then, then I continue. Okay, I continue over here. Okay. So, and I continue. So I just need to move the numbers together. So when I move the number together, I will got 16R actually will equal to 8 minus 16. So R will equal to negative 8 divided by 16. So R will equal to negative 1 over 2. Okay, after that, you just substitute negative 1 over 2 back to the A. Okay, just back to the A. So a will equal to 16 over r square, negative 1 over 2 square. So we have 16 divided by 1 over 4. So we will become 16 multiple 4. So which is 64 for a. Okay. I think this is very simple. So the difficult part for this one is you must able to write T3 become AR square. Mean you just substitute the formula into it, then use the and then you do the simultaneous and then solve it. You can got the answer for R and for A. Okay? Simple. It's simple then I just I just move on. Okay? It's simple then I move on to the I move on to the second part. So yes, so what is the second part over here? The second part over here is the sum of infinities of the progression. So sum of infinity means sum of infinity is a over 1 minus r. We got a, we got r, so it will be very simple. a is 64. r is 
negative uh, is negative 1 over 2. So 1 minus negative 1 over 2. Then I will got 64 divided. This is 1 plus 1 over 2, so it will be 3 over 2. So this is 64 uh, multiple 2 over 3. So this is 1, 2, 8 over 3. This is the sum of infinity. Okay, I think this one is quite simple and very easy to understand. Yeah, so I think that's all for this videos. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so sum of infinity means you just apply this formula into it. And then this one, you have to understand what's the first term, what's the common ratio, and then what is the sum of the third term and fourth term. If you understand that, you must be able to write down this is T3 plus T4 equal to 8. Then T3 will equal to 16. Okay, actually for the GP, in the paper one, I think all questions is very simple. So you can try and do some exercise. I think it's almost the same, but then just sometimes, sometimes he will come out some questions. He only asks you to solve the. Okay, maybe we just see and see one more question like this. Okay. Yeah. When you see something like this, actually you got few few way to solve. He said, given that the first four term of the geometric progression is two negative six eighteen and p, find the values of p. Okay, so first, if you can solve it only using the common ratio methods, which is, I say, this is T4 one. T4, T3, T2, and T1. So, T4 divided by T3 should be equal to T3, uh, T2 divided by T1, or T3 divided by T2. The same thing. So you can straight away use the div, uh, common ratio methods to get the p. Because he asked to find the p. So t4 is p divided by 18 should be equal to 18 divided by negative 6. Okay, so yeah, you just solve this question. So p will equal to, okay, this one you simplify. You have got uh, 1 and 3, this is negative 3. So negative 3 multiple 15, it will become negative uh, 3, 8, 24, 54. P will equal to negative 54. Or you can do something like, okay, A is 2, okay, R is, okay, R is T2 divided by T1, which is negative 3. Okay, then you want to find T4. T4 means A R A R N minus 1. Negative 3, sorry. N is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So it's 2 multiple negative 3 power of 3 is negative 27. So it will be negative 54. You got the same answer also. See, you will got the same answer. So yeah, sometimes you will have few methods to get the answer. So but as long as you can get the answers, then you should be okay. So, for me, geometric progression, this method is quite useful. So, just memorize this one. No need to memorize. It's very, very simple and easy to understand. Common ratio, one. just behind term divided by in front term will equal to behind term divided by in front term. That's all. Okay? Yeah, I hope these videos can give you some ideas about the sum, to, sum of infinity and then we'll give you some idea how to solve the paper 1 questions on the geometric progressions. Okay, so on the next video, next video I think going to be a long video also because it will involve the geometric progression for paper 2. And then I will, yeah, I, I, I will choose 3, maybe 2 to 3 uh, different types of the geometric progression question for paper 2 yeah just stay tuned for the video 3 of geometric progression okay thanks for watching